the application organization features of iTunes 9. Now I wanted to touch on the new syncing features real quick because this is actually kind of a cool deal. They finally updated the way they sync stuff, uh, music, movies, TV shows, that kind of thing, uh, over to your iPod uh, or iPhone. Now if you click on your device and click on music, movies, uh, or TV shows, you'll notice the interface has changed quite a bit. So if we click on the music tab here, you'll see that up at the top you do get your little sync music checkbox and you get entire library or selected, which is all normal. And then we've got include music videos, include voice memos. Most importantly, this is really cool, automatically fill free space with songs. This is pretty neat because oftentimes I'll fill my uh, iPhone or iPod up with the playlist that I want, uh, which I, can, I know I can dip into, but then I've got a ton of free space. You see down here I've got uh, 17 gigs still free on my iPhone. So I could just click that and have it fill my space with a bunch of stuff for my library, which is kind of nice if you don't have the time to make a bunch of playlists that will fill up your space. Now, down under playlists, uh, you can check on audiobooks or purchase or, you know, all your normal playlist stuff. So just find your playlist, click on it, and then go ahead and uh, um, syncs. It, it goes ahead and syncs your whole playlist, excuse me. Now, under artists here, we've got uh, a list of artists. This is new. It allows you to synchronize by artist. So instead of having to go into iTunes library, select all of your songs from a particular artist, you know, search and, and narrow it down, then drag those into a playlist and then synchronize that to your phone. Instead, you can just search through your artists either by scrolling or we can type an artist in. Let's see. There we go. Bold Sebastian. Okay. So you can check a particular artist like so and then hit sync and it'll automatically search your library for artists by that song and synchronize it right to your phone. It's searching and syncing right at the top. Uh, you can do that by clicking the little checkbox and hitting sync. Now, if we X that out, get all our artists back. Now, if we scroll down, it's also got a genres section, so you can also sync by genre. So, if we scroll down, I have ambient checked here. I was playing around with it. If we scroll down, let's say I want all musicals. So, click on musicals there. Yes, I like musicals. What of it? And then down at the bottom, hit apply. So we'll go there, and then it'll search the library. You see up here it says syncing. Find all the stuff that is ID3 tagged musicals, and there it goes. Uh, it looks like uh, grabbing some songs there. So that's it. That's the uh, new syncing features. Of course, that works for movies as well uh, and TV shows, but uh, most importantly, music. We have more options for music, which is great.